all know that polar bears live throughout the North Pole area where it's covered by sea ice for extended periods. But they don't live everywhere equally and there are differences in the geographic regions. Now scientists have defined 19 subpopulations of polar bears worldwide, but 19 is almost too many to manage when we're thinking about a global problem like global warming. And so in 2007, I developed the idea that some of these populations are more similar than they are different, and I group them into four different major ecoregions. So there's the seasonal ice ecoregion, and that's the one that we're standing in here on Hudson Bay, and it includes Davis Strait and Fox Basin, the areas where the ice is only annual ice, so it melts entirely every summer. The ice melts, forcing the polar bears onto shore. So north of here, in the Canadian archipelago, there's what I call the archipelago ecoregion. And that's the channels between the high Canadian Arctic islands and adjacent Greenland, and those channels are choked by sea ice year round. And so the polar bears there have access to ice all the time. They don't have to come ashore. They spend their life out in the sea ice. Well, much of the Arctic is what we call the polar basin. This is the area that centers on the North Pole and is ringed by the continents. So it's that sort of giant mass of ocean and ice that we call the Arctic Ocean. The polar basin I divided into two more ecoregions. One is the divergent ice ecoregion, and that starts in Alaska and northwestern Canada and rings all the way around to uh, the north of Russia and around to Svalbard. And that's an area where sea ice forms actively throughout the winter, but as it's forming, it's continually being moved or advected out into the center of the polar basin or beyond the polar basin out through Fram Strait and actually leaving the Arctic entirely. But a lot of it piles up on the north coast of Greenland and the northern part of the Canadian Arctic Islands. And where it piles up, where that ice converges, I have called the convergent ice ecoregion. So in the polar basin, we have the divergent ice ecoregion. The ice is always moving away from that and piling up in the convergent ice ecoregion. And then just to the south of that, we have the archipelago ecoregion. And then a little bit farther south and east, we have the seasonal ice ecoregion. So we have four major ecoregions that are defined by how the sea ice forms and changes throughout the year and how polar bears respond to those changes. So the value of the four ice ecoregions is our ability to take information from the populations that we know well and extrapolate it with a great deal of logic based on what's happening to the habitat to populations that we don't know as well.